and welcome to visa port educational videos by SN Ahmed. Do subscribe us on YouTube and also you can follow us on visaport.pk Facebook page and if you want to contact us the contact details are given here as well. This is our O levels lesson series and this is about physics the course code is 5054 here on screen you can see the topic sequence and today our focus is topic number seven which is pressure and this is part one these are the learning outcomes given by CIE which is Cambridge International Examination Syllabus and here are our learning outcomes from A to I it is impossible to do all these outcomes in one short video so we have divided into several parts Today in part 1 lesson, the learning objectives we will be covering are A and B. The first one we will be looking at is learning objective A, where we will define the term pressure in terms of force and area and also do some relevant calculations. If we define the pressure, before that we need to give a proper heading or caption and here the best caption would be pressure through solids. Now we are going to define the pressure and that is pressure is defined as force per unit area. That means if we apply force on any solid which has a surface area so together they give us the amount of pressure we will be applying. The units of pressure are Newton per meter square but System international unit of pressure is Pascals. In short, that is PA. So Pascals is equivalent to Newton per meter square. This is something we need to remember very carefully because we will be using this a lot to not only solve the numerical values but also the units. One more thing about the unit is that kilopascals is the unit which we use most to express pressure. The reason is that pressure values are usually in thousands. So for example, if we have 5000 pascals, it is convenient way to write our answer as 5 kPa. Now once we have understood the pressure formula, which is force upon area, it's time to do some calculations. So what pressure is produced if force of 200 Newton acts on an area of 4 meters square? So this is the data given and we simply apply our formula and put in the values which is pressure is equals to force upon area and we get our answer which is 50 Newton per meter square. Now if we convert our answer it will be equivalent to 50 pascals. Now let's do a slightly trickier question here and that is calculate the pressure exerted on the stool when an elephant who weighs 3000 kilograms stands on one foot. One foot, yes, which has an area of 0 0.5 meters square. Now apparently it might seem that this is pretty much similar to the earlier question but it's not. The reason it's not the similar question is because we are not given force here but we are given mass. Now this is the point where you need to understand very carefully that whenever we are given mass and the hint here is which usually people or students fail to notice that any time you are given kilogram in a numerical value that is mass. Now how you can convert that mass into force is simply by multiplying that mass with the value of gravity. So that will give you the value of force or the value of weight which are equivalent by the way. So if we put in our values cancel kilogram with kilogram the remainder will be 30,000 Newton force. Now we have the right ingredients to put in our formula and we put in our values in and get our answer. Now here one more learning which can be done is can you guess what these three 
green zeros are which I've just highlighted by the way yes you can write these three zeros either in standard form like here you can say 60 into 10 to the power 3 pascals or you can also write your answer in prefix form which is pressure is equals to 60 kPa all these three answers are correct and these are just three different ways to represent your answer now before we move further it is good to understand the pressure formula rearrangements because not every time we will be asked just to find out or calculate the pressure but actually we might or we might be in a situation where we can be asked how to calculate the area so if we are to find out the area we just need to simplify make a which is for area our subject and just rearrange the formula in such a way that we can calculate area or same case for the force so remember all these two or three formulas just rearrangement of same idea now let's do a quickly a question here so what force is produced if a pressure of 1000 pascals acts on an area of 0.2 meters square so here the given values are pressure and area so we simply use one of the rearrangements and apply the values now before we get our numerical answer it is good practice to also solve the units here so can you see I have just split it the Pascals into Newton per meter square as we established the fact earlier that these two things are equivalent so here we just need to cancel out meter square with meter square and we get 200 newtons so that is the right value for the force so now we can tell that 200 newton force is produced if pressure of 1000 pascals acts on an area of 0.2 meter square now is the time to look at our second learning outcome which is learning objective b that explain how pressure varies with force and area in context of everyday examples in very simple words that how pressure varies with force and area this is one line which explains the whole idea and that is that pressure is directly proportional to force now this half part or half statement is pretty simple and is quite clear that if we apply high amount of force we get high amount of pressure and vice versa but the second part is slightly trickier and that's where we need everyday examples to understand the concept that pressure is inversely proportional to area now what does that mean let's have a look so here we have got a thumb pin you know what the thumb pin is for so when you apply force on this point this area which I am highlighting over here with your thumb so you can see this is a large circular surface area which is over there and we apply force over here and of course there is a second point here which is also getting the same amount of force but due to difference in the areas we are getting different value for the pressure so the pressure which is getting applied over here it is just 100 pascals is because we have large surface area as compared to this end where we are getting huge amount of pressure and that is the reason because of this huge amount of pressure this needle or this pin is able to get into the notice board another example here is of ski so here you can see the ski has large area so it is distributing force or weight of the person hence it will be low or less amount of pressure so the person cannot get stuck into the ice 
One more example is of sharper knives. So the sharper the knife, the lesser the area, the higher the pressure. That means it is inversely proportional. So area is large, pressure is less. Or area is large, pressure is less. Or you can say that area is small and pressure is very high. To understand the same phenomena, let's have a look at different examples. So here we have a shoe with a large surface area. So imagine if a person who weighs about 80 to 90 kilograms. So imagine if that person is wearing this shoe and he steps on your toe, you will get hurt but not feel that much pain. But in contrast, if the same person wear this heel, well, that would be slightly awkward, but still, I'm not going to be any gender biased or anything. But imagine if the same person wear this heel and steps on your toe. So that will be an ouch moment. Yes, it might crush your toe. The reason is because here, the heel has very small area and for the same amount of force or weight, it will produce immense amount of pressure, which would be very hard to bear. So hence, we can understand here that area is inversely proportional to the pressure. So if one goes high, the other one goes low and vice versa. So that's about it of our two learning outcomes. In the end, I would like to give credits for the royalty-free images I have used. They all are used from mobfile.com and they are modified images. And in the end, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the learning. Do subscribe our channel and spread the word so more and more people can learn from it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.